Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are back at it once again at the Krispy Kreme. Not really. Uh, it's. <laughs> I wish this was a Krispy Kreme. Yeah, I wish this were too, man. But instead, we are here in the basement, as always, and we're watching some uh, some trailers and some videos that you all have suggested down in the comments and also on our Discord as well. So, honestly, man, this is to me, this is uh, this is awesome. I wanted to watch this one anyways because this is one of my favorite game series. So. There you go. Same here. Same here. I mean, I loved. I mean, I loved the first. Well, one, two, or one, three, and four. Of the Devil May Cry series. Yeah, I still like 2 okay. Two's, no, 2's fine. Like, it's everybody just, shit all over it, but I still had fun with it. I did too, but... Eh. To me, it's just, I felt there was just... To me, there was just too much assets being reused and not enough originality. That's just me, though. But, anyway, I still I still had fun with it, and I still, I still beat it multiple times. I beat Dante's disc, and I beat uh, Lucia's disc, so... I think that's uh, I think that that's actually pretty good, but now we find ourselves on the cusp of uh, something new because after Devil May Cry Four, something happened in the Devil May Cry series. Um, they tried to reboot it, and everybody was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, who asked for a reboot? I was like, I would have been fine with a reboot if they hadn't have done what they did to Dante. Yeah, and honestly, they made him an uninteresting emo kid. Yeah, it's still a really fun game. Oh, it is. Wise, like, well, it's Ninja Theory. Ninja Theory always does. The fact really that they straight stuff. up like uh, you know insulted the fans by like having like the little white wig like land on his head and him being like not in a million years and it's like oh fuck you. Yeah, that. It's like oh fuck. That yourself. was that was a massive insult. Yeah, it and was a low blow. Yeah, and and don't get me wrong. There's stuff about DMC that I liked. It's just. <sighs> No, it, it, there's just, it's way too, it's way too much of an, it's still way too popular and way too iconic, especially in the video game, and especially in terms of video games, the Devil May Cry 4 was a good game. I know that they tapered off and they did some stuff that was considered risky, but at the same time, that doesn't mean you need to reboot the entire fucking franchise all because of one, all because of one game that people found. If that was the case, why wouldn't they? Why didn't they reboot it after DMC two? Why didn't know. they? Why didn't they reboot it after Devil May Cry two? It's like that, everybody, for the most part, I thought kind of liked Devil May Cry four pretty good. Oh, I did, but so apparently it, it online did the whole, there was like you know, there's a character that's not Dante <laughs> you're playing as for most of the game, but I actually kind of like Nero. So. Well, it, it's it's half the game. The first half of the game you're playing as Nero, second half you're playing yeah, as Dante, and that's fine. And I and but I liked Nero. I liked yeah. his gameplay mechanics. I, I like loved his, sword his arm too. His sword. Oh, badass. his sword was badass. Yeah. I loved that sword. But and I I know that there's some hokey stuff in it, but Bayonetta has the same shit in it, and people love that stuff. Mm. So. I don't get the criticism sometimes. Eh, well, I guess that's just me. So anyway, Devil May Cry 5, the official final trailer. This comes out March 8th, and we are watching this February 28th. We are watching this on the last day of March, or on the last day of February. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? February. My brain ain't working. Yeah, February. February. Yeah, I don't know how we got that. that screws everyone over because it's shorter than the rest of the months, and then you get to the next month and have to pay your bills again already. Yep. Yep. It's not fair, man. Nope. It's not fair. All right. Well, we got this queued up here. Let's get the video on screen. And let us uh, have a watch and see what happens in the final trailer. Here we go. There we go. Damn. The hell's that thing? The Tree of Life? No. Oh. Is it just me or is Capcom just making all of the best decisions lately, though? Do what? Capcom's just making all of the best decisions lately. So far, yeah. They're like, hey, you guys know what all the stuff Konami, Konami did? Let's just do exactly the opposite of all of that. Yeah, and look at it. Whoa, is that... Let's listen to our fans. Was that... Was that Sparta? Not sure if it was or not. Either that or it was Dante's devil trigger. What's happening now? Oh god. I thought it was over. This isn't good. We're gonna get dragged into this. You will regret being born useless and human. I will show you your worst nightmare. 
Okay, the combat mechanics are looking really, really good. Yeah. That's that's awesome. These characters look like they're from Resident Evil beginning. 7 almost. Kind of. Oh, no, the designs, the designs actually are way different than Resident Evil 7. The design wise is different, but like graphic wise, it's like about on the same level. Well, it's, well, if they're using the RE engine, I have no problem with it because the RE engine is their newest engine. They spent a lot of time and effort in the building. Looks like we still got a long ways to go. March 8th. I felt like I need to... Like, Whoa! Was that Virgil? Yeah, I think so. He's back. Um, I feel like I either need to re-watch or play through all the games again before I play this. Well, they're on my... Uh, I think they're on my... Are they on yours? I, I have them. Let's okay. Uh, or I don't have four. But I have uh, the HD trilogy and... On uh, Steam. Yeah, and DMC, which DMC doesn't really count for this. So. True. Okay, um, fair enough. Look at the look at the Devil Breaker weapons. <laughs> look at the second one. I guarantee you, Jacob will just play this game just so he can play with that. Probably. Because it's just like pew 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 pew. <laughs> Fucking fork. Yeah, lemons. Yeah, lemons. <laughs> so, man, twelve tracks from Devil May Cry's one through four. I, there's just so much that Capcom is doing if that right. That includes like um, Devils Never Cry and uh, the time has come. I don't know. So that's my favorite part actually about Devil May Cry Four is the time has come. It's a badass fucking song. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see. I'll see Not about getting the deluxe edition die. of this because I want because those Devil Breaker stuff that Devil Breaker stuff looks really cool including the Mega Man arm if I play with this game if I play this game I'll probably do the Mega Man arm just for the hell of it because it's Mega Man arm dude I mean I I guess we'll have to see but then of course I'll have to use Fork as well because I, actually you know it would be a funny name for that for that Devil Breaker arm the Spoon <laughs> just ironic it's like I call it the Spoon this is a Fork Mm-hmm. And and she's just and she's just like don't care that's what I named it. <laughs> so all right. Anyway, Devil May Cry Five the deluxe edi- or uh, Devil May Cry Five comes out March eighth. Uh, very close to when we're watching this right now. I'm going to drop a like on this and I'm also going to leave a comment. Uh, let's see. So I'm glad I've been playing Bayonetta, but I should have been working on playing back through Devil May Cry, like, to get ready for this, but I think I might just rewatch the cutscenes from the first four or something fresh on them. Hmm, fair enough. It's been so long since I actually played all the way through them all. <laughs> so we left, so I left a comment on this video, and I left a like as well. If you find the video, if you find it, actually, hold on, let me see. My army comes from deep within, but yeah. my soul beneath my skin. Careful, As copyright. Learning, I'm about to begin my strength is pain, and I will never give it. And there's a copyright <laughs> claim. There's a copyright claim right there. Eh. Well, we're not going to make any money off this video. That's fine, though. Uh, probably we're I don't make... think they can pick it up without the actual instruments behind it. You never... Dude, someone got... Cl- Are you kidding? Dude, someone got claimed all because... All because their girlfriend was singing it in the background while they were doing something. Oh, that's fucking lame. Yeah. They got claimed for it. There's like, this is a, actually a cover going on in this video, so we're claiming it and we're saying it's ours. And they actually took them to court over it, and the people, thankfully, the people won and the company lost. 
but still, the fact that the company would go that far over someone singing that freaking song in the background of the video, go go to fuck yourselves, honestly. Yeah. What is wrong with you? Whew. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode of Renegades React, ladies and gentlemen. This was Devil May Cry 5, the official final trailer. And like I said, if you all want to, uh, le- if you all, uh, what do you all think of Devil May Cry 5? I mean, do you all think that uh, this game's going to be worth it and it's going to revitalize the Devil May Cry franchise? I hope so. I hope that this is the beginning of something uh, of something else and we're actually able to see, like, Devil May Cry 6 and, like, just keep going. I don't think this is just the beginning of something. I think this is the continuation. Like, my theory is that Capcom has just fucking come back. I hope like, so. Capcom used to be one of my favorite game design companies back when they made Devil May Cry 1. And when Clover was open, and they made Beautiful Joe and Okami, yeah, and obviously the Resident Evil games, like they used to be one of my hands down favorites. And I never played Monster Hunter until just recently, but I always heard good things about Monster Hunter, and that was around the same time, you know. Yeah. And then all of a sudden they just started doing stuff that was like, uh, uh, you know, Resident Evil like four was good to everyone else, but to me I was like, I like zombies though, man. These aren't zombies and. Um, so I started to dislike them a little quicker than everyone else did, but like when five came out, and I was like, the fact that you have to play it with somebody for it to even be playable kind of sucks. That 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 um, was a six bit came out, and I was just like, yeah, six shut was Clover down, like you know, and I was just like, what the fuck, man? Like I so I just kind of stopped liking Capcom, and then here recently, like I've been all about Monster Hunter, the fucking Resident Evil Two remakes, fantastic. Resident Evil Seven's fantastic. Like, I think Capcom's getting their shit back together. I, I'm i glad, too. I'm super too. stoked about that. I'm glad, too, because... Now they need to reopen Clover and make Okami, too, and a new Beautiful Joe. And, like, with how much they've been listening to their fans, everyone should tell them that. Yeah. Hey, Capcom. We want Okami, too, and another Beautiful Joe game. Yeah, I want Beautiful Joe 3. Yeah. That's what I want. I want... Because... Uh, according to Beautiful Joe, at the end of Beautiful Joe, they said the world will be in danger a total of two more times. And mm. we got Beautiful Joe 2, and we got the resolution in that game, but did we ever get a, uh, the final uh, time that Earth would be in danger? I don't guess so. No, we haven't. So, we need this, guys. We need we need closure on Beautiful Joe, and we need another Okami. Now, I know I'm probably asking too much because they're doing all kinds of other awesome shit right now. Well, they're killing it. Eventually, but, eventually. You well, know, but that doesn't mean that they that. can't reopen Clover and just say, "Hey, former studio head of Clover, you want your old job back and you want uh, you want a lot of your old team back." And hopefully, he doesn't tell them to go fuck themselves. <laughs> yeah, because if somebody shut down my baby, I'd probably I'd yeah. probably be a little apprehensive too. But here's the hoping, guys. Fingers crossed. You know. And uh, I guess, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And so until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. This was, and this was Devil May Cry 5, the official final trailer. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like and don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you then. Peace out.